I'm Tony with Earth Files Earth History, and this is an image of Saturn's largest moon, which is Titan. And the reason this image is this color is because it was taken with an infrared camera on Cassini. And this area is, is called the North Polar Seas. Now, NASA claims that these sea areas are filled with methane and ethane. They also claim that this bathtub shape is deposits left from that sea when the sea was higher at one time. And they also claim that this arrow is a cloud. In fact, here's an article where it says methane clouds shaped like an arrow are also seen in a photograph. So what I'm gonna show you is that information is false. Now, as I show you these, these mega structures, when I bring out one part of the image, sometimes we'll lose other parts. So I've taken different shots and some black and white and some close-ups. So we're gonna do a close-up of this main image. And I want you to notice that this structure has walls that are this building here and it goes all the way to the ground. This building's gotta be at least 20 miles tall. And notice this debris, how it loops around. And there's a zigzag here. And you can actually see inside of it, you can see the walls here. Now, before we go into more detail, notice that there's another artifact here, it's perfectly square. And then there's a building here and you can see it you can see the entrance way here and it looks like this piece was inserted into this for some reason so in this image or this part of the image what they call the arrow i'm going to clean this up so we get a better look You notice it goes like this and it kind of bends and comes back up. This piece bends here and goes over there. Apparently this piece was connected to this wall here. Now, when the Anunnaki made their megalithic structures on these, uh, mostly on the moons to create their environments with, they made it out of glass. And as you notice, you can see through it here in this area. So I'm gonna take us into a black and white. And you can notice, here it is again, there's part of that structure. Now then when they piece this mosaic together to make this image, all of it's running either this direction or this direction. This is offset. So that's how we know this is a structure. And it's perfect 90 degrees and you can see there's a thickness to it. In this arrow, you can see where it's a structure where it comes off the ground, it bends, it comes around, it bends again. So whenever it collapses, it just completely collapses the whole uh, structure of it. So this is not a cloud. This, these are structures. And this isn't a mineral deposit. This is what's left of a uh, mega building. I'm gonna do two more shots here and I'm gonna clean this one up. And now you can see this structure that has collapsed. Now the reason it's probably glowing is probably because the material that they used or part of this is glass. And then you can see the sides again and you can see some material that's still left. And if you look inside, you can kind of see like a square, like there was buildings built inside of it. 
and there's another structure right here. In this last image, I'm gonna do a quick review. Here's that structure right here, 90 degree edges, which shows it was intelligently and artificially made. Here's the other building. Here's the walls to this mega structure here. Through here, you can see inside of it, you can see the wall, see this type of glass material that probably looked, that probably covered it because you can see through it. Here's the structure that has collapsed and it's attached on a base on Titan surface. So now we know that the information that we're getting about Titan is totally false. So this gives us some idea of what was built on Titan and the structural content of this image is the same engineering that was done on Mars and on the moon's surface. Okay, everyone, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, help support.